What's up guys, this is B Bricks from Brickdo here, and today I'm going to be going over my top 5 favorite sets released in 2020. Now, there were a lot of great sets released in 2020, it was really hard to narrow it down to just 5. Um, I know you guys might have a lot of others that would have made the list if it was your list, and I understand that. I try to pick from a, a couple different themes, but obviously this is geared towards my interest, and it's not going to match up with everybody, so... Just take this uh, rankings with a grain of salt, and obviously you guys are entitled to your own opinion. But without further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. Set 10276, the Coliseum. Well guys, this is the largest LEGO set ever built, and personally I'm a big fan of the Creator Expert theme. Um, even though this set you know, doesn't have minifigures, things like that, um, I just think this is a great standalone display set. I really uh, enjoy these large scale sets. In my opinion, they make for a really interesting and fun building experience. And again, with 9,036 pieces, this is the largest LEGO set ever made. It retails for $550. This set is definitely on towards the top of my wanted list right now. If you guys have seen this in store or anything like that, it looks like a monstrosity. Uh, it looks like a really cool build, and in my opinion, a great display set. And really pushing the boundaries. Uh, with lego you know with 9,000 pieces being an 18 plus set and again in that creator expert line which i do enjoy i think this is just a fantastic display set looks like a fun build and i'm hoping to get this set soon number four one two three sesame street set two one three two four this set is a lego idea set released this uh, in 2020 and personally what i think this set does really well is that it's a really interesting set um, as far as sort of the modular aspects to it. But again, it's only $130. You get, um, or sorry, $120. You get six minifigures. And the cool thing about these minifigures is that there's a lot of custom molding involved with these minifigures. Basically, every single one, if you get this set, these minifigures aren't going to really be found in basically any other set. So I feel like you're getting a really nice set of basically six, I would say, exclusive minifigures to this set, assuming they don't make any more. You still get a great number of pieces at 1,368. So I think what this set does really well is sort of fitting in that middle ground. Uh, it's not like the Grand Piano where it's really cool, but it's also, you know, 350 bucks. But it's not also really small. I think in that $120 range, it's going to pique the interest of a lot of people. This is a set, personally, I think for 120 I would like to pick up. And again, this set is on my wanted list. I think it just looks like a fantastic set, fantastic build. But most importantly, in my opinion, those minifigures. Number three, the Nintendo Entertainment System set 71374. This set really took me back when it was released. I mean, you have the very realistic looking NES console. I think that's what a lot of people were hoping for with this set. Then again, you also have this TV, this uh, older style TV. It looks very realistic, but the cool thing is it actually does have some functionality as well. Um, I think this is just a really cool sort of model but also a really nice sort of functionality, sort of, um, and I would say play set, but it does have some just cool aspects to it that a lot of times we don't see in sets. And again, for $230 and 2,646 pieces, I think this is a pretty good deal. And again, with this LEGO Ideas theme, I've really been enjoying what they've been putting out. This is a little bit more on the expensive side, but again, with that functionality with the TV, if you guys have ever seen it, when you crank it, it has the Mario run through the course, I mean, it is just a really cool thing to see in a LEGO set. We haven't really seen types, those types of contraptions before, I would say. And then again, you also have the NES console, which I think looks basically as close to accurate as you can. And just because of the accuracy of this set, the coolness of this sort of TV function that we haven't seen before, the set I think is just really unique. And I think this is going to be a set I want to pick up before it retires because of those exclusive and I would say sort of nostalgic aspects of this set. Number two, 501st Legion Clone Trooper Battle Pack, set 75280. I mean, you guys kind of know the story with this. Really cool. Uh, Ryan or MNR Productions, you know, really pushed for this. And it was really cool to see this come out this summer. Obviously, hugely popular. Very hard to find on shelves for quite a while. But again, I think this just shows how people are really looking for this full-size battle pack. Really looking for, you know, four uh, clone minifigures not any of these sort of gimmicky ones not any sort of these droids and stuff like that and i think lego really did a good job with this again i think at the 30 dollars price point 
I think it makes sense, at least for what they're giving with this battle pack. But just really cool story behind it. I know a lot of Star Wars fans, including myself, are really looking forward to this. I went ahead and picked this up, obviously, and I think this is just a fantastic little battle pack. Um, really like the minifigures, and again, most of the story behind it, Ryan Ember Productions, really pushing for it. The LEGO community coming together and really uh, making this happen, which is really cool. Really happy to see that. And uh, this definitely makes the list at number two. I'm sure many of you guys feel the same way if you're Star Wars fans. Number one. Diagon Alley, set 75978. As you guys know, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I'm trying to collect all these newer Harry Potter sets that have been coming out since um, the new waves. And this one is definitely one that's on the top of my list now. Uh, this has 5,544 pieces, retails for $400. This set, I mean, if you guys haven't seen this on display, I was at the Lego store and I had never seen it on display before. I mean, this literally looks like you have basically four modulars together. I mean, that's the size of this set. And it really took me back. I mean, this set, I think, just looks fantastic. You have a great number of different colored pieces. Really cool building techniques. Again, one of the pluses to this set is 17 minifigures. I'd love to see that in these larger scale sets. You know, I think that's something that a lot of other, you know, the UCS themes and creator expert, you know, really misses out on. It's not even throwing in one minifigure. This one's 17. So I think it's a great value there. And again, I mean, the displayability of this set looks fantastic. But more so, I think too, is just the 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 build uh, looks the build looks great. And then in addition, I think if you're someone who's really into getting different colored pieces, getting new elements and things like that, I think this set you know has it all when it comes to that. And that's why it's at number one for me. Huge Harry Potter fan. I think they hit a home run with this set, and I cannot wait to get this thing. It looks fantastic. It looks really fun to build. And for me, it's my number one set released in 2020. Well, that wraps up my top five favorite sets released in 2020. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, this is the Brick Duo signing off.